we are developing a new therapy to fight cancer. Uh, particularly, we are developing an immunotherapy that harnesses T cells, which are part of the white blood immune cells. And the problem here is that oftentimes patients' T cell functionality greatly varies. This is due to individual differences, due to tumor burden and previous rounds of chemo and radiotherapy. All of these can have a negative impact on the T cell functionality when we harness them for immunotherapy. A possible solution is to transplant healthy donor T cells into a patient, but this comes with a serious risk. Donor T cells could recognize patient cells as foreign and cause a life-threatening condition known as graft versus host disease. But this is why to make our donor T cells safe and effective, we had to engineer them. So the key player is a T cell receptor and it has two functions, recognition and signaling. So in a normal T cell, these two functions are coupled. An antigen binds and a signal is transmitted inside the cell and an immune response follows. Now our engineering is about decoupling these two functions. So the cell can still bind healthy patient cells, but in that scenario it does not get activated and thus it's safe. However, we still need the activation to fight the cancer and this immune response is mediated by a bispecific antibody. We can control the activation of our engineered donor T cells by adjusting the dose of a bispecific antibody. We can even turn the therapy on and off. This way, the treatment can be fine-tuned according to the patient's condition and response. This T cell product can be available off the shelf and ready on demand. There is no need to isolate patient T cells or modify them, which is both time-consuming and costly.